How's it going guys? I'm back with a very small new comic book day haul. Six books this week, which is great. But let me get right into it. It shouldn't take long. I decided to pick up uh, Descender, issue 26, Rise of the Robots, Jeff Lemire, Dustin Nguyen. It is the final issue in this arc. So um, I'm guessing they're going to be taking a very long break before the next one. I I finally decided to uh, stop picking up Descender. Maybe once uh, the new arc hits, it's a trade. Maybe I'll pick up the trade. I don't know. Then I have a uh, Misfit City issue seven, which I thought was gonna be a six issue run, but I believe they're going for eight issues now. Kristen Smith, Kurt Lusgarner writing, Naomi Frank Case. I really do like Naomi's art. It has been very whimsical, I guess you could say. And the story's okay. Uh, but I, I figured it, a six issue run would have been nicer. I don't know. Final issue here. Kill the Minotaur, number six. I believe it is the final issue. Chris Passetto and Kristen Cantamesa. Lucas Kettner on art. Very cool, grotesque art. And if you don't want to read, I believe it's going to be a movie now. At least that's what the writer said last issue. They were in uh, talks with some studio. Someone's going to make a movie out of it. Who knows? If it's as uh, graphic and violent as uh, the comic book, I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> and then I have Deadpool vs. Old Man Logan. Issue 2. Declan Shelby doing some writing. Mike Henderson on art. And I was wondering why uh, Mike Henderson sounded so familiar. He's, of course, the man that uh, gave us Nail Biter. Or one of the guys, at least, the artist. His art has changed a bit. It's kind of sleeker, cleaner, less sketchy. Uh, it was it was nice in uh, Nail Biter. It's a lot nicer there, I guess. And another second issue here is uh, Family Trade, The Family Trade by Mr. Justin Jordan. First issue was interesting. Um, yeah, and of course it's also by Nicky Ryan. Nick Ryan? Nick? With art by Morgan Beam. Which I do like the art. The art was fun in the first issue. The uh, story had a lot of... Uh, it was a lot of backstory, a lot of explaining and dialogue, and hopefully there's less of that in this issue. Uh, I'm sure we all need to get a, a backstory on uh, this whole uh, uh, island of... Uh, it's a weird island, I don't know. <laughs> See? So much explaining, I, I still don't know what it was about. But um, you have these... Uh, Factions, which this girl is part of, and she's uh, in charge of regulating basically uh, everything that goes on this island and what have you. And I don't know, it was fun, but we'll see what this second issue is all about. And finally, I have The Willows. Kind of feel like Rob here from Rob Wise Guy 8250. Let me pull this out of the bag. Uh, the Willows. Now, this was basically a cover buy from uh, previews that I threw into my uh, previews list. I thought it was a one-shot, but apparently it's going to be one of two. And it is from uh, Floating Comics, Floating World Comics. Hmm. I don't know, like I said, uh, basically it was a cover buy once I saw it. I think it's about witches, and I can't remember now. Nathan Carson writing art by Sam Ford and it is all in black and white but from the description it is sort of a fairy tale maybe a dark kind of fairy tale um, the art is nice um, but I don't know if I'll be getting issue 2 
I don't remember seeing it in uh, previews. And since I thought this was a one shot, I basically thought that was it. So I don't know. But that was the haul for the week. Thank you very much for watching.